<laughs> it's 15 minutes to nine. <laughs> now, for those of you heading to work this morning, do you often find that you're chained to the desk when you get there and you can't escape to get some fresh air or some rain, as it will be yes. today? You're not alone. The service finds almost four-fifths of British office workers spend less than an hour outside during working hours. We asked some white workers why they don't get out more. I work with old people, so it's very hot where I work. And the open windows, I don't like it, so it's very difficult to <laughs> get any fresh air to that respect. But <laughs> you do your best. I try and take a walk, you know, at least get some fresh air, half an hour's walk or something, you know. But it's an effort because it's very difficult to get away from work sometimes. I'm in the office. Some days it could be none. So I could actually, you know, be in the office for 12 hours and maybe put my head up the I do actually stop, but I mean actually to, you know, to get out. I don't get a lot of fresh air because I'm cooped up in an office. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dr. Rob Young was squinting and was saying, that's me in the background having a cup of tea, having a break from my work as a psychologist. Hello, Rob, nice to see you. Hello. Uh, he helped with the research and Hugh Bishop is here. He's the boss of Meteorite, which according to the Sunday Times, is one of the top ten companies to work for in the Absolutely. small to medium sector. Thank you. Uh, welcome both. So, Hello. Rob, tell us first, why is it so important to get out. Well, what really amazed me about the survey was, I mean, this team mobile research, was that 50% of people spend less than even half an hour outdoors. Yeah. And if you think about, you know, as children, we spend all of our time outdoors. Mm. But it's really important psychologically because actually um, sunlight is involved in, in melatonin, in our hormonal responses, in our circadian rhythms, and our mood. And if you're not feeling in a kind of positive mood, well, you can't be productive at work, can you? Mm. So, Hugh, what do you do to get your lot outside? I think there's there's some simple things that all companies can do. One of the main things we do is we, we, we have a ban on people eating food at their desks, which sounds really kind of... Draconian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and also, and also sounds, sounds like a simple principle, but you, you go into these, these, these offices, and then there's a, there's a film, there's a lovely film, The Producers, and... Um, uh, the Mel Brooks film. The Mel Brooks, yeah. or, or even, both of them do the same. And um, who's the guy who played uh, Bloom in the latest one? Um, uh, doesn't matter. Anyway, anyway okay. and it goes in, in back to his accountancy firm, and they're sat there doing this. Jigging. Yeah. Jigging. And you watch people in offices now going, send. Send. As if they're sending emails, as if they're doing, working in those lines as, as it's Matthew Broderick. Broderick. Yeah. Matthew Broderick. That's it, Matthew Broderick. And, well, he's very good, isn't he? Right. Came from us. In the air. In the air. I haven't got one of those. It's cheating. <laughs> I, you could have one of those. And I think you've got to, you know, you've got to break free from that. You've got to break out of it. You've got to unchain the chair or, you know, or ditch the desk and get out and, and get going. It's there a is a mentality, a, a, a work mentality, which is I've got to stay here so that everybody knows that I'm doing my job properly. And if I leave, people might think I'm starving. Well, people have this thing about FaceTime, that you need to be seen to be, be working very long hours. But actually, you know, people's efforts should be measured on their productivity. So how, how well they do the work, how much work they do, rather than whether they're in the office from, you know, sort of eight till eight. Mm. Rob yeah. says, you see, you can only concentrate for 20 minutes at a time. You should take a break for five minutes every half hour. But some managers would say, well, that's just a slacker's charter. So oh, I'm just off for my five minute break. Yes. Um, I think you have to set a culture, very much a culture was about empowerment, mm -hmm. that people believe and, and have the trust, and you have the trust in them to go out and they're going to work. Then you put an infrastructure in place so people can work outside. You know, an infrastructure can be mobile working. It can also be having deals with local restaurants that they can get vouchers and they can take and they can have uh, low cost cups of coffee. Mm -hmm. and we do all of that. We have bikes outside the office that people can go and cycle around. We have sports teams that go out and play football in the evenings. All of these are very possible to set up. They're low cost. But going back to your point of, of you've got to have trust in your staff. If you don't have trust in your staff, then you don't actually believe that when they're, they're flexibly working and they're going to not be working, then you've got a very bad company. What, what about the workers who actually really do find it difficult to leave their workplace? Sandra is a nurse. She gets a 30-minute break with no opportunity to leave the workplace. And one viewer emailed, he works in a shop. You have, to have, you have to be there, basically, in your shop. I suppose mm. you could close for lunch, but then you lose your business. But I think even yeah. if you only have a 30-minute break and you're stuck at the hospital, you know, at least go for a walk around the building. Mm. You know, do something. Don't just sit in the canteen, you know, kind of being bored by the same four walls. Yeah. Go for a walk outside. Yeah, there must be a little yeah. tiny Absolutely. plot of grass or something outside that you can find out for just five minutes. Yeah, yeah. 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 change yeah. yeah. something a bit different. I think, yeah. you know, it's even how what you do is, you know, we, we have a philosophy at work called curiosity. The whole business is based around curiosity. 
And if you walk to work in a slightly different way, you have a different way of, you, you, you approach work in a very different way. And the same oh, at work, route. get out yeah. for the five minutes, go and do something different, just, just break the routine, get, get empowered, get, get, get some, you know, some real, some real yeah. passion about your work back. Let's all do that. Let's really do that. Something different. Yeah. Right. Something Curiosity. Different. Yes. Curiosity. Very okay. important okay. word. That's the we're word all of the day. With it, but we all lose it. Yep. Curiosity. Well, Thank we've, thanks, Jen. Thanks very much. We've